All right, guys, what's going on? We are at my new location, and excuse the mess. This is inside my garage. I'm still trying to figure out how I like things and organize things. But as we can see, I do have my monitor set up there, and we have our PC that I built in a previous video. It is down there. So my problem is I can't find my Wi-Fi card that was USB. Actually, it's a USB Wi-Fi adapter. And what I did is I went out and purchased this guy, and we are going to get this set up in the PC. Uh, got the reflection of the light there, but we are going to set this up in the PC, and I'm going to show you step-by-step step pretty much on how to do this and get it ready. So don't go anywhere. All right, so this is what comes in the box. We do get a couple of antennas here. This is a bracket for mounting in like a low profile uh, system if you needed to, but we're not gonna be using that. And we have our Wi-Fi card here. So this is what we're gonna be using. And here's what it looks like outside the package. Pretty much standard, not too fancy or anything special about it. And um, yeah, we're gonna get this thing installed. All right, so we're going to put it in. We have various slots we could put it in because I don't run a graphics card in here, so it really doesn't matter. But I think we're going to put it in this one right here. Um, but what I got to do is actually knock this out. And since this is the wooden case, this is going to have to get... This is permanently going to come out, I should say. Uh, so once I knock this out, it kind of permanently comes out. Let me see if I can just set this camera up and you can kind of watch. So again, I'm just going to make sure it is this one right here, which it is. And we're just going to knock this out. It's not the most favorable way of doing things, but that's what it takes. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the stuff that I can remember for hooking this up. So I think it's just good. This is light enough to where it's not going to move around too much. So I'm not too concerned about this. I know it's kind of cringe not to actually put something right here, you know, to keep this fastened down. But again, I'm not overly concerned because this is not a very heavy card. It's not going to move around too much. It's going to stay pretty much permanent in the garage so again it should work no problem we're gonna go ahead and put the included antennas right on here get these all situated and then get these so they kind of point up or something like this anyway that looks about good right there. Now I'm going to put this front panel back on. I got to put this front panel right back on here and mount this, and then we're going to go through the next steps. You know, I was just noticing in there something leaked or something. So we got that spot right, right there. It's kind of discolored. Not sure what happened there, but oh well. All right, so as we can see, we still have a globe here, which means we're still not connected to the internet. So what I'm gonna do is click on this, and sometimes you do have to load a driver. In this case, look at this, I do have Wi-Fi. Now when I click on this right here, in other words, this, this guy right here, then usually what that will do is it will let you know what Wi-Fi SSIDs are within reach or within range of this computer. So what I'm going to do is click on that. I'm going to pan away because I don't want you to see uh, what network I'm actually on. Not that that would probably matter to most people, but it looks like my, let's see, I do have a signal barely for my 5 gigahertz. My 2.4 gigahertz has a little bit better reception. I was afraid being out in the garage this far might have an effect on it. Now, I could probably go with the 2.4 and be perfectly fine because all I really have to do is I'm just doing some YouTubing out here and, and some other research. But I'll kind of pan to me here. And that's, that's the case of this 
my hair is kind of not done. This is really early in the morning. You can see the sun's just, just starting to come up here. But anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get hooked up to my 5G and see if that'll work. If not, then I'm going to have to go probably with the 2.4 or I may even have to get a larger Wi-Fi card. So we'll see. All right, so what's kind of cool, when I was putting in the password, I only had the dot right there at the bottom. I didn't even have one bar, you know, going across. Now I got two bars above the dot. So I guess I'm going to get pretty good reception. If I pan around here, I didn't think I was going to get that. And excuse the mess. Like I said, I am reorganizing and doing a lot of stuff because of the move and all that. Not, I guess not reorganizing, but organizing. So anyway, I have to go into the mud room. So from here to there is about 24 foot. And then going into the mud room and to through the kitchen into the dining room kind of where is where my router and everything are. That is probably 50, 60 foot from right here where I'm at in total, I'm guessing. Um, so I know the whole house is made of brick. Um, and I thought that might be an issue out here in the garage, but it looks like we are all set. And now what we can do, as soon as you're done installing a Wi-Fi card like that, what you want to do is come to your settings right here. Now there's a portion of that I don't want to show at the top. It's just basically my SSID. Um, some people might say, oh, who cares if you show it? I'm just being careful so I don't have to blur it out. That's all I'm doing. And... There's a, a part right up here I want to show you. This is Windows Update. That's in the corner, right? And we're going to click on that. And now we can see where it's right here. Download and install all. And what you're going to do is just basically go through the entire thing. Uh, I don't know why it said it failed. Um, oh, this is interesting. So I have Windows 11. Yet, it wants to do a Windows 10 security update? Not cool. I don't know what's going on there. Let me figure this out. All right, I don't know what the heck happened, but all I did was click on the retry. Now we don't have that Windows 10 anymore trying to install. That was really bizarre, because I already had Windows 11 previously installed at the other place. So, anyway, this is all set. This is downloading the proper... Uh, stuff that it needs for Windows 10 security updates and software updates uh, and all that. But what I wanted to show you is if you had a problem with this and it did not have the driver currently in Windows 11 or Windows 10, you'd have to go to the TP Link website, look up downloads or software downloads, drivers, whatever it is on the site, and look up this model. Grab that driver, put it on a thumb drive, then install it. And basically, you would just, you know, put in your computer and usually click setup or something like that. Now, I do have another video containing the proper installation of, I think, of the exact one of this. So I will link that in the video. And but what you would also notice is you would you would have this or you wouldn't have that. You would have that globe. And then if you clicked on it, you wouldn't have any available networks that you could actually attach to. So, you would come over here, and you would just do a right click, you look at device manager, and then you would see somewhere in here it would have like a drop down, it might say other, and then it would have a question mark next to it or something like that, indicating that there is something wrong with something that you installed, and it was probably that driver well, not the driver. It would probably be this thing that you installed. It's not recognizing it and that you need a driver for it, which means you have to go to the website, download the correct driver, and get that all set. So I just want to kind of quickly show you. So if you go to, you just type in TP Link, and right there at the top, you can see that we have tplink.com, and, and here's their website right here. But I think you go to something like here, support, we got download center, and I'm just doing this off the cusp. I'm just trying to see what's going on here. So we got, okay, so we have, uh, let's see, I'm looking for the model number. So if we just type in that AC1200, I'll just go AC1200. 
We hit enter. Okay, the enter did not do anything. So that's model number. I don't know why that's not really doing anything. Okay, so what I did is I changed this to home and then, so right in here, it was on all. I just changed it to home to see if what happens. Uh, network expansion, accessories, adapters, I think is it's going to be, yep, PCIe adapters. And I thought, there we go. All right, take that. I don't know why that's not working. Uh, let's see. Then we're going to come down to, oh, let's see. Aha, that's why. Because you need this. It's a Archer T4E. That's why it wasn't coming up right there. That is my bad for guiding you in the wrong direction. But we have right here, T4E. And there we go. And look at that. There's your driver for Windows 10 and Windows 11. What you would do is download this. Now, of course, you would need it on, you need to do this all on a separate computer if you were not getting the proper Wi Fi and you needed a driver. So you would download that, put it on a thumb drive, come back to your computer that you're trying to put this in, that you install this in, install that driver, you know, open up the file, the setup, whatever is in there, and install it, and then you're you would be good to go. So that's it in a nutshell. I was able to show you on this because I was able to get on pretty simply. So yeah, that's it. And now we're just going to do my first restart and you might have to do it a couple more times, but go ahead and check your Windows updates a couple more times and then hopefully you'll be good to go. So we are all set with that computer down here. Now I have a computer in the garage and I'm gonna be rocking. All right, guys, so I hope that you learned something from that. I know we weren't, show, I wasn't showing you on a USB stick on how to download it. And actually, I showed you where to download it, but I didn't actually do that because it didn't require it. So it is what it is. Short video, quick and simple. And until next time, take care. Oh, and by the way, now the sun's coming out. There it is.